wanted to do a quick video on using the WebGen Glove Care System to, uh, to break in your glove. There are a million different theories out there on glove break in. Some are good, some are bad, some are very bad. Uh, we've heard everything from dunk it in motor oil uh, to dunk it in water, put a ball in it, put it under your mattress, run it over with the car. We've heard a million different theories, uh, different ideas on breaking the baseball glove. What it comes down to is how are you how are you damaging the leather? Because breakdown truly is breakdown of the leather, what's going to soften it, stretch it, um, and allow it to be more pliable than it is uh, as a brand new glove, um, something like this. So using the, the WebGem glove care system to break in a glove, the, the key to that is when the form goes inside the glove, when you put the whole thing inside the neoprene bag, the bag puts a constant light stretch on the glove, which softens that leather up. It's not going to overstretch the leather because it can only go as far as the form will let it, so you're not going to end up with a floppy glove, which is the last thing you want as a baseball player. Um, you want something that's going to have some structure to it. It's going to become an extension of your arm. You don't want to ha have the glove flop when you go to make a play. Uh, two bad things can happen there. One, you're going to flop the glove and it's going to miss completely. The other is the ball is going to hit the glove and it's going to make the glove flop and it's going to kick the ball out of the glove as opposed to kicking it into the glove. So in using the system, whether it's a roll form, a flare form, this is our flare uh, for you guys that like it more flared. Uh, we've got a, a first baseman form and we've got a catcher's form. The concept is the same for all of them. Form goes inside the glove. The whole thing then goes inside the neoprene bag. There is a specific way it goes in there. We show that on the product videos. Uh, but the whole thing goes in the bag. And then when you pull it nice and tight around the glove, it puts that light stretch on it. It's going to maintain that light stretch. And honestly, within about 24 hours, you're going to start to see that glove start to soften up, take the shape of the form, and it's going to start to, to become more playable. So what I'm going to do, is I'm actually going to condition a glove, show you exactly how to do it, how to put it in the, in the bag uh, with the form in it, everything relative to breaking in the glove. This is a brand new glove, literally just pulled it out of the package. Uh, I took the tags off of it earlier. It's never been played. It's never been it's never had a hand in it, really. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our conditioner. Uh, there's a slit in the conditioner. Just tear open the corner. These packs of conditioner, you'd be surprised how much you get out of it. But just that little bit right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to dab it around the glove. I don't want to saturate the glove. We call it glove glaze for a reason. We just want to put a very light coating on the glove. Again, this is animal skin. And just like your skin, it's going to absorb what it needs. I don't want to grind this in and put a ton of it on because all I'm doing in that case is just adding weight to the glove. You don't want to add weight to your baseball glove. Uh, it's just going to get heavy and less playable. So that very light little bit right there, just a light sheen on the surface, making sure I get it in between all of the fingers, make sure I get all the laces. that's about it. So I'll do the same thing now with that same little bit on the back side of the glove. Dab it around. And then spread it in. You'll be amazed how far this stuff will go. It doesn't take much at all. I want to get all the laces. I'm going to keep you from having to relace the glove if I keep them nice and soft. And then, this is critical. I want to get inside the finger holes of the glove. The first place the glove will start to break down is between the fingers. And that's because the sweat in your hand sweats the natural oils out of the glove. It will start to soften the glove, or, sorry, harden the glove and actually break the glove down. You'll see it start to crack in the palm and between the fingers. And that's because you've, you've sweated all the natural oils out of the glove. So every time you do it, you want to make sure that you get up inside the glove, in the thumb hole, all the finger holes. Make sure you get every the glove. What I'm going to do now is put the form inside. And I'm going to position it the way that I like the glove breaking in. A couple different ways you can put the form in the glove. 
you like your finger thumb a little more flared, you can use the roll to flare the thumb, keep your pinky straight. Um, you can break it in the middle of the hinge, or middle of the heel, like this, or you can break it in the hinge like that. I prefer broken in the hinge, flare the thumb out a little bit. And I'm going to put it in. When I put it in the bag, there's a specific way, again, it goes in the bag. You can see that on our product page. Drop it down in here. The bag is nice and tight, and that's important, especially on a, on a new glove. Something that's going to be tight around the glove. It's going to keep it tight. How it goes in is important. So you want to make sure you watch that video. I want that label visible through the opening. Now when I pull the fingers tight, when I pull this up tight, I lay that down in, put that light stretch on it. What I've done is I've pulled those fingers up around the form and they'll start to take the shape of the form. That, that creates that rolled over finger. Um, the thumb you can see is kind of sticking out right there. And that'll keep that flare just because of the way that I put it in you know, put the form inside the glove. And that's it. I'm going to let this sit overnight. Tomorrow morning, take it out, take a look at it. If the, 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 the glove soaked up all the conditioner, I, I probably want to put a little more on there and do the same thing overnight again. I don't, again, want to I don't, I don't want to grind the, the, the conditioner into the glove. I just want the glove to absorb what it needs. If I wake up tomorrow morning and there's still a sheen on the glove, I don't need to add any more. The glove is telling me it's, it's fine. It didn't need to soak up any. I can take the rag that we include with the system, wipe it down, go play baseball with it. The best way that we've found to break in a baseball glove is to play baseball with it. So whether that means playing catch in the yard, playing catch on the field, going go to a batting cage, dropping some coins in the machine and, and catching baseballs off of a batting cage, however you can catch baseballs in that thing, that's the best way to break that glove. There really isn't any better way. It does a couple things for you. It maintains the integrity of the leather. It's not going to destroy the leather. The other thing it does is it allows you to develop a feel for that glove, which is probably the, the most important thing you want to do with a new glove especially, is to develop a feel for that glove. This glove right here is about seven and a half years old. You can see it still has structure to it. It's been well taken care of. It's never been relaced. Um, it's, it's as playable today as it was after it was first broken in. And that's what you really want in the glove. Something that's going to last, you're going to develop a feel. We've got about 60 major league players that use our product to take care of their glove. And the biggest reason is it allows them to maintain a feel, a consistent feel in the glove. The glove is the same every time they pull it out of their bag, out of, the, out of their, their gear bag, as it was when it went in. And they don't have to worry about it getting flattened out or ending up looking like that. And that's about it.